Hello, artists. Welcome back to embroidery. On our last video about embroidery, we talked about doing that contour shape, that outside shape of our embroidery. And today we're gonna to talk about really filling in our embroidery a little bit more. Um, you could do even more than this, but I've just kind of started to show you guys kind of what we're doing or how to do it. Of, again, of course, make sure that you are using embroidery thread. One of the things that you can tell, because I've got a couple different kinds of threads in here. Embroidery thread, first off, is a little bit smoother, silkier, if you will. Also notice how the tail is in by where that says the arrow. That way people know where to start or where to find that starting point because sometimes this is from the bottom. It gets kind of confusing. The other thing is that it's either on a painted or a number labeled little bobbin here, okay? So when you get thread, undo it from this little slit that's holding it. And then when you go to cut it, put it back in there, turn it to the other side, snip it, leaving a little bit of extra space there, okay? So here I am, I'm using this pink, kind of continuing to sew. And all I'm really doing is I'm um, sewing in my um, embroidery is I'm kind of deciding where I want it to come up. So I, I do that pulling with my needle. I think I'm gonna go a little bit further. Here we go. I left a little space in between because as I sew, I don't wanna like, go down and then try to come up right next to it. But I might come back this way. So there's a little bit of space in between those, like the holes that you're making in your fabric. I'm gonna kind of start here too. Mm, right there. I didn't leave a ton of space on that one because I had already been on the other side, but this next one, I'll leave a little space, kind of go back, I'm going back and forth. And... Yeah, I like that. And I would continue sewing until I've really filled up all that space that I wanted, filled up. Oop, just a little bit more. Come on. Boo there we go. And then down. Now, notice how nice and neat my front looks. Do you think my back looks like that? No, sorry, Bob. It really doesn't. So what I'm gonna make sure that I do, if I'm all finished, is tie a knot. That is one of the biggest mistakes that sewers make is they don't tie a knot to start their sewing and they don't tie a knot to finish their sewing. I had already been sewing. But the easiest way to tie a knot is either when you get to a place and there's like a loose um, piece of thread, you can use that and tie it like you tie your shoes. Or in this case, there's nothing else to tie it with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath my last stitches, pull that thread until I get this little loop here. I'm gonna go through the loop with my needle and then I'm just kind of holding it. There we go. I do it one more time and I hold down on that just as I really pull it tight because I don't want to put stress on my stitches on the other side. Okay. And boop, boop. Got to do that hole, pull it tight and you can trim. All right, my friends, happy embroidery.